Today we will be preparing the new Dodge dealership for its grand opening. This new facility sits on just over six acres of land on the Clover Creek map. We'll take a quick tour of the facility and then we'll get the process started on ordering the trucks and getting them in position around the dealer lot. Today will be a very exciting video as many of you guys have requested. We have done other manufacturers but today we will be doing the Dodge dealership. Out front we do have two very big signs there on the building with one very high 50 foot sign. You guys can see you can see it pretty far away which is good for advertisements. We are able to fit two trucks inside the showroom. We have one delivery bay so each brand new vehicle goes inside this uh, little garage and the customer, their new owner gets to drive it off the showroom so I think that that's a pretty cool thing we do and then we have three service bays here with car lifts to do the service uh, any recall work anything like that now around back we do have quite a lot of room as well to store vehicles and these service bays in the delivery bays we do have doors on the other side as well so I think uh, let's kind of go inside the office here and get started on ordering the vehicles I'm thinking we'll first do uh, both trucks here for the showroom let's hop here into the store and get started off. I'm thinking we'll put the Dodge Power Wagon along with a Ram 1500 2019 model year. Uh, two very awesome pretty cool trucks inside here. And I think we'll do the uh, red there. That looks so, so cool. We'll do the uh, 2019 ones. Well, uh, let's see what else they do have. I think that's pretty much good. We wanted a stock as possible there for our clients to see. And it just turns out to be two uh, red trucks here going in the showroom, but that will be pretty cool. Like I have touched upon, I have done a Ford and Chevy dealership along with a few different ones. And I thought that it was time to do the Dodge dealership. We'll get these parked up here. Dealerships that have very nice big doors to get trucks in. And that's one big uh, advantage of these big dealership buildings. The plan is to put all the new inventory out front and then all the used ones will put along the side. I actually think that we do have quite a lot of used vehicles. That, that will be great. Uh, not only do we sell the brand new Rams and other vehicles, we do sell some other ones now. The Ram, uh, the Dodge dealership also sells Jeep and a few different ones. So I think we'll buy a few Jeeps really quickly to put out front. We'll buy a few Jeep uh, Grand Cherokees here. We'll put these right outside the front door. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. It's been a very busy summer for me. I did go on a few trips and have been doing quite a lot of yard work as well. I do wish we could have a few more SUVs, sport cars, and vehicles like that here in the game, and that would be pretty awesome. But for now, we'll get these parked up, so we do have a few Jeeps. They, these aren't really too big here in pretty much farm country, but let's get the uh, new trucks going, and then we'll kind of end today buying all the used ones. And I first want to start off here with the Ram Rebel. Now in the past I have done videos where we actually deliver the trucks but I really do like also how I get to show you guys what we do order the trucks with. I think that that's a great thing I do and it's kind of more of the behind the scenes in preparation for these videos and I think we'll buy a few more white ones and we'll probably buy one all blacked out. Buy a few black ones and then that's pretty much good there for the 2019 uh, 1500. Oh yeah that's quite a lot of inventory we have. Having a, enough inventory is always a problem for dealers, especially us. We'll be selling quite a lot of these. We'll park some around back of these. That way we don't uh, take up the entire front area here just uh, with these 1500s. But 1500s are the most popular ones we sell, and that's kind of good as well. This is almost red, white, and blue. I think that would have been great to do, but that's okay. So I think that's good there. And then we'll put the other ones around back here.
If you do have any cool ideas here for dealerships, please let me know. I really do enjoy reading and responding to you guys in the comments. It's quite a lot of work, but I enjoy it. And that's the biggest thing here is uh, to do things you enjoy. I think I will put the other one there at an angle and then I will get started on the 3500s. I don't think we have too much 2500s that are brand new. We do have quite a lot of 3500s and a few brand new ones as well. Awesome, so let's buy those newer trucks and we actually do have this brand new truck here. Recently came out within the last few days. That's kind of nice to see. We'll buy one of those. We'll buy like a silver. We do sell quite a lot of silver ones and let's see what other colors they have. They have a few blue. And I think we'll buy, let's see, we'll buy a, flu, a few uh, gray and then black ones. I think that's good there. On that one, let's go through here, buy a few more brand new trucks as well. We have this one here, which is a very, very nice truck. We'll buy, let's see, let's see we'll buy Cummins. And we'll buy that. So I think that's pretty much good there for the 3500s. We do have one lifted one here. And actually, this will be a great kind of showroom uh, truck. But it won't fit in the showroom, so we'll put it out front. And we want it to be a nice, catchy color as well. So there we go. So we'll put that one right underneath uh, our Dodge sign. as like a pretty cool one that people could come take pictures of. So let's do that one first. But take a look at these. So many new 3500s we have. This is a pretty sweet truck here. It's a big lifted one, and uh, it, it will be great to have out front. And that looks pretty good there. So let's get started off here. We'll probably put a few of these, and then uh, we'll put some of the other ones, uh, the flatbeds out front as well. I really do enjoy doing these dealership videos. These are actually a great way to showcase the different uh, brands we do have here in Farming Simulator, the different trucks, and it's just a cool thing to do. So I do plan to do quite a lot more of these, and I do want to return to these as well, uh, do new delivery videos when we do get new uh, trucks and different things like that in the game. I think we'll put one more of these, and then the rest will be the 3500s. We will have a pretty sweet uh, category of used trucks. And we hopped here in a flatbed, so I think we'll probably put this flatbed and the other one out front. We'll put this here and one more. I think we'll put this red one there. If you guys haven't already, I do recommend you hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a new video. I upload every single day here, possibly two times a day. Uh, this week, we will have quite a lot of extra content coming in uh, new games, and I do want to bring some older games back to the channel as well. I really do enjoy making videos here, and I plan to continue it for quite a long time. We'll get these parked out front and then we will actually get started on buying the used inventory because that's pretty much all we have for new uh, trucks here in the game. And let's see, I want this flatbed to be out front at the dealership so we'll put it actually in between the delivery bay and the service bay. So that looks good there and we'll put these last few there. And actually we'll put probably a uh, custom one, maybe a uh, used one out front as well that maybe people will like. And we actually do have a few new trucks as well we could get. So this one we'll put there and we'll buy that other few. We actually have a regular cab dually. I think we'll buy a few of those. I. There, we have so many different new trucks here in the game that I kind of do forget how many we do have. So let's go through here. We'll buy a few of these, and I think we'll buy one here. We'll just buy a few in black without the uh, cap on it. And actually, we'll change it up and do one in white. So one in black and white. There we go. And just really quickly, browsing through, we actually have this one here. Which one is this? And that is lifted. So we don't really want to sell that and that's pretty much it for new trucks there so we'll get these last two in position and we'll get all the used ones
Now having so many vehicles in one spot, it will create quite a bit of lag that I am prepared for and I do apologize for that. We are getting a little bit as we do continue here, but so many trucks. I think we already have upwards of 15 to 20 here. That's quite a lot of trucks. Like I have touched upon, I think it would be nice to get more than just trucks here for each of the brands and SUVs, uh, maybe some of the sport cars they sell, things like that. But we got all of these uh, pretty much there, so let's go through and buy quite a lot of used trucks. Now, this one here will be a used truck. I just kind of uh, decided that uh, there, there wasn't too much colors for it, so that would limit us there. We'll buy one of these here, and let's get a different color. We'll get like a blue. So we'll buy this. This will be used. One of the reasons for that is we don't have these stock wheels, anything like that, and I really do like that. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go with dark red, and that's actually the two-tone. That looks good there. We'll get the uh, black rail. So we got one of these trucks, so many different ones we will be buying. We'll hold off on that second gen. I'll hold off on that for these here. Get the Tomiers, get the upgraded Totune. Uh, we, we won't get any tools there, but let's go through the wheels, get the dually wheels. This thing looks so, so cool. And then we'll get the this one here in the regular cab body. And I think we'll get it in blue. We got those trucks. We'll probably buy a service truck here. And what else do we have? Now we do have this big lifted one, and I think we'll hold off on that one. And that's pretty much it there. Four hour used inventory. That's so many trucks, and we are getting quite a bit of lag. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six used trucks. I think that that's a pretty decent amount. Now, like I have touched on this uh, truck and the other trucks that you couldn't really change the color on, I decided just to have as the used uh, trucks. But let's bring these over there. We will have to go out into the street for this. Usually dealerships have a section for their brand new trucks and a section for the used ones, so the used ones we'll put there. I do want to put the second gen out front, this thing looks so cool. We're going through the opposite of these orders just to make it a little bit easier. We don't have to keep going out into the street, but I think that some of these used trucks here might generate quite a lot of traffic because some of these old farmers, they really do like these older trucks here, and uh, it's going to be cool to have these here at the dealership. Just by having this a little bit of the extension to this truck uh, from the uh, regular cab, what you guys saw there, the turning radius isn't the best compared to the uh, one we just drove. Similar chassis, just that this is the extended cab. Both of those are second gens. And there we go. So we got the used trucks parked up there. Now for this one, I actually do want this outside the showroom. So like we just picked it up on trade. We'll put it out front. That's usually where uh, the customers will bring it when they trade it in. And what I have noticed, some of these longer wheelbases trucks, the turning radius aren't the best at all. But we'll just get this parked right out front here and we'll get it through the inventory to be pretty realistic. But overall, today was a pretty exciting day getting this Dodge dealership all ready to go. We sell a variety of Dodge trucks. Ram trucks, new and used, along with uh, some Jeep vehicles as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.